hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial so today we're gonna see a console emulator which is an alternative for Windows command prompt so are you ready let's get started as you know in order to use command inside Windows we use the command prompt but this command prompt actually is very limited and has some restricted features so today we're gonna see a better alternative for this command prompt which is called conimi so in order to do that we open our browser and you type this address conimi.github.io and here you hit the download button so after that You see that you can download a portable version or installer version. So me, I will, I will just install uh, the, the portable version, which which is very light. So I hit the link here and I download my file. Okay. So after downloading the file, you get. 7-zip file so you extract it and you get this folder so inside this folder as you can see here there are two folders and two executables so if you have 64-bit you just click on this one and if you have 32-bit version of windows you hit this one so i will hit this one 32-bit version as you can see the first window you get is a dialog box here you have to choose the location of the setting storage actually it's a XML file which stores all your settings I will explain that later and other you can leave it as default just at the bottom you can choose between the stable the preview and the developer builds so I'll just choose the stable so after I choose the stable version I hit OK and if I return to my initial folder so you will notice a file has been created which called conimu.xml actually inside this file it will store all setting your parameter in your program so as you can see the user interface is very very beautiful and also is customizable you can resize the window if you want and if you want to change the settings you just hit this icon here on the left corner and you go to the settings so here are all the features that you can customize so for example you can make this window transparent you go to the transparency and you just activate activate window transparency as you can see now my window is transparent you can of course change a lot of things like the text cursor or the text color and other things and when you finish you just save settings one of the beautiful features that this program has is that you can use multiple tabs for example I have this tab but you can add another one here and add second one third one so you have a lot of tabs that you can ra or run commands inside them okay but for example here if you click just in this row next to the plus button you get shells so you get the command prompt for windows you get the command prop but this time run by the admin you can even get the PowerShell 
if you are using Windows 7 or 8 or 10. For example, let, let me hit this PowerShell. As you can see now, another tab has been created with the name of Windows PowerShell and here, as you can see, you can run some PowerShell commands. For example, we can just type, for example, get process. It's a PowerShell command that lists all the process that are running in Windows. As you can see now, I have all the comments here. One of the beautiful features also in this program is that you can run even program inside it. For, for example, let me see that I want to open Notepad++. I can do it inside this program in another tab. In order to do that, as always, just go to the setting and this time you go to the task tasks and you add another task you hit just this plus button here and you can name it whatever you want for example let me just type notepad plus plus notepad plus plus here if you want to pass some parameters to your program well let me I would just open it and here you add the path to your program for example here I will go to file path and I will look for the program I want to run I want to run notepad++ so I select it and open and then I save my settings and if I return back to this little arrow here as you can see now a new menu has appears which has the name of notepad++ if I click on this menu, another tab has been created, which is actually Notepad++ window. So I can here even run uh, or write as if I'm working with Notepad++. I can select text and I can copy and paste. So I have a tab dedicated just for Notepad++, and I, I have other tabs here. I can split the view for example if I want another tab but in the right side I just go to the this little row and I hit new console dialog and here as you can see I can choose which program or which shell I want this console to be and here I can choose the location or actually where this window will appear to the bottom or to the left for example let it let's put it on the right and I just hit start as you can see now I have two windows one for new shell and the other still exist for example here and here I can add another one in the bottom same process new console one window and this time I can put it on the bottom start also one of the beautiful features if I return back to the, to the normal shell if I type something for example a command or or something and if I highlight it it's automatically copied to the clipboard and in order to pass this command all I have to do is to right click so to right click right click and it automatically pastes into the window and finally as you can see here there is a status bar and this status bar is very also is customizable for example if I just right click on it I can add for example the system time for example all I have to do is to check this option here system time as you can see now system time appears so it's a very really useful program and it's better than the Windows default command prompt 
and as I told you in the beginning of this tutorial all these settings have been saved in this XML file so it's a very important file to keep in mind and if you open it for example using notepad++ here you can see all the things that you have set in your program if you want to return to the initial state all you have to do is, is just to delete all the settings okay as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye